Hi guys, how you all doing today? Dry Shop Drew here. Well today we're going to go off the wall and do something totally different than we normally do. I'm actually going to do a review with a knife, a plastic spoon, armed with information and something new for me. A lot of you guys might have seen this before, a lot of you don't. I'm also taking a bottle of water in case I don't like it. <laughs> so we're going to do a food review here. So basically what I'm going to try and review today for you, I'll put that out of the way. Now a lot of you might not recognize what this is. And if you don't, hey, all okay, I'm going to tell you. What this is known as, and, and I found out, and I did a lot of internet research on this because I wanted to find out about it. And I've seen a review or two on YouTube of this fruit and I decided I want to try it. It's called a dragon fruit. It's also known as what they call a pit eye of fruit. Now, it's from the cactus family, and it has all kinds of benefits for you. And that's why I wanted to try it. So we're going to check this thing out. And uh, the reason I'm, I'm actually trying this is because if I like it, it's going to go into my diet. So what we're going to hear, this, this fruit, it says is an ant, it has lots of antioxidants in it, which is good for your body. Okay, it's full of vitamin C and vitamin B, which is good for your body. And any vitamins that you put into your system that you don't use, your body will automatically flush out anyway. So we're going to try this one. Uh, they call this a metabolism booster. So if you have a slow metabolism or if you're overweight, and stuff like that, apparently it's supposed to be really good for you. The reviews I've seen online of people trying this, everybody I've ever seen try them, just like, like they're just flabbergasted on how good they are. So... I just had to try it and finally today after about a month of searching our local store had some in stock and when I seen it I just went wow I gotta have one of these. Now the way that the way I learned to pick these out is apparently if you just press on them a little bit and they're semi soft like this one is then they're ripe. So I'm hoping I got the right one. I hope it's not raw and I hope it's not overripe. I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but we're going to find out. This thing, this whole fruit apparently is very low on calories. A 3.5 ounce fruit this size is only 60 calories. So, 60 calories for a fruit that size, yeah, I'm in. You know, that sounds good to me. So, also, this fruit has been known to lower your blood sugar levels and lower blood pressure. So, what more can you ask for out of one simple fruit? So, anyways... This is what we're trying today again. It's called dragon fruit, and it's also known as pitaya fruit. So we're going to try it. Now they say don't cut the fruit this way, that you're supposed to cut the fruit this way. So that's what we're going to do. So now apparently it's supposed to be black and white, or yeah, black and white inside. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Does that not look good, guys? My first smell is almost like a cactus. <laughs> but it is of the cactus family, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to distinguish what the smell really is. I smelled something like this before, but I don't know. It smells good anyway. So I guess the only thing left to do now is to taste it and let you guys know what I feel. But before I do that, just in case, we're going to rinse the pellet. I leave this open in case I need it. <laughs> I'm a chicken shit. What can I say? But you never know what it's going to be like until you try it. They say to avoid the red part of the fruit. To eat just the black part and the white part. So, let's see. Got a little bit of a crunchy texture for peeling with the spoon here. Yeah, okay. I guess the black part is the seeds. Okay, guys, I'm going to try it. <laughs> Cross your fingers for me. I actually like the taste of this. It almost tastes, almost tastes like a pear. Sort of has the texture of a pear, but it almost tastes like a kiwi. It's like right in between. Well, I know one thing, I'll be buying this again, <laughs> but 
Mm. I'm not going to bore you guys with eating it, but I'll tell you one thing. Go out today. Why, go into your store, find yourself a dragon fruit, guys. They're amazing. I'll be adding it to my diet, and hopefully you will too. But I'm glad I took the time to do this and give you guys my honest opinion. It's got, sort of got a little bit of a sweet taste, almost like a sweet pear, a pear apple cross maybe. But I really do like it, and I will definitely be adding it to my diet. So, anyways, guys, I'm not going to hold you up. I think I told you enough about this, and that's my review on the dragon fruit. Also known as the pitaya fruit. And like I say, it's, I love it. I'll be buying it again for sure. They're a little bit expensive compared to a regular fruit, but they're well worth it from what I see. So, thanks all. Talk to y'all later. Bye.